there? Booze man, come back. The hey, I'm here. Lord of the farewell. The Nero guy, the soldier. Whatever the hell it was. He took Sarah. What, what are you? He had an ID badge. What was the name? Oh, God, O'Brien. Oh, you wouldn't shut up about it. All the way out to Three Finger Jack. Hey, he's alive. He's alive. What are you talking about? We were there. The whole camp was wiped out. I, no, I know that, but I heard... I went into their LZ, and they... Wait, wait, you, you went into their LZ? What the... Just listen to me. I heard them over the radio. Talking about a man named O'Brien. Big dumb. Not, Boozer. I'm not. I'm just... Hey, uh... Get some sleep. Deacon out. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. The start of this living hell is now our life. It came as a surprise to no one who was listening to me when shit went down. And I was one of the few. Most have spoke out against the feds. Well, things didn't go so great for them. The cemeteries are filled with martyrs. Those who sought to call out the bull, I know. Because they came after me. I started Radio Free Oregon in the last weeks before the feds fell. Broadcast from an unmarked van, moving from town to town. In the days before the roads she choked with cars and the bridges destroyed, trying in vain to stop the freaks. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. No cope, the cemeteries are filled with freakers, not martyrs. And huh. Another Nero site. I wonder if there's anything inside that mobile medical unit. infestation zone.
got you. Okay, here we go. I smell it. <sighs> it's gotta be getting close. so they could consolidate power into their own hands. So, we wanted to build dams for electricity. But their precious runs of salmon were more important than heating our homes. We wanted to cut a few trees to build those homes. But the nests of a few spotted owls were more important than the entire timber industry. Now that the feds have gone to ground, let's just say we've eliminated the middleman. No one can stop us from taking what's rightfully ours. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Thing is, Cope, fuel prices have come down lately. Way down. Only problem is you gotta find it yourself. And last I checked, there were plenty of assholes out here trying to take what's rightfully ours.
Raiders. Oh, bastards will kill me if they get the chance. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Black helicopters have been spotted in the skies. I've seen them. Heard them. Thought you were losing your mind. But you're not. They're real. And they're proof that I was right. We thought Nero died out here like the rest of them. Caving under their own stupidity. No. Like I said, wait all this time till they can crawl up out of their holes and reclaim this world. But it ain't happening. Not on my watch. And don't go running towards them thinking they're gonna save your ass. Any man wearing a uniform worth a damn died more than two years ago. These men, they'll shoot you on sight. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Jesus. Cope, they're not trying to reclaim shit. You don't have a damn clue what you're talking about. Except, yeah, yeah, they will shoot you on sight. Lucky guy. More nests. Infestation zone. Sure smells like it. Oh, gotta burn it down. I gotta clear them out. Come back later, finish burning out these nests.
fuel can. Yeah, that's right. I gotta burn out the rest of these nests. Where's Tucker, Alki? Over at the dig site. Well, which one, goddammit? North one. Back there. If anybody touches this bike, or anything on it, I break your fingers. Whatever, man. Jesus. I keep telling you, everywhere you look, it's all one giant lava field. 25 feet, solid rock. It'll take 
Jackhammers to... I don't need a lecture, goddammit. I get it. No, you don't. But these people are hungry. Even if they had all their strength. It'll take them months to finish this job with picks and shovels. I don't give a shit! We're all hungry, Al. But this job's gotta get done whether it takes all goddamn year. It's not like we got somewhere else to be now, do we? Wait. Not finished. We'll make it quick, will ya, Al? I got things to do. Rippers. This morning, one of my men spotted a large group of them coming over the pass. And no one stopped them? How the f... Tucker, you know we're already spread thin. Are, are they headed north? Al! Are they headed towards us? Yes or no? I... I don't know. Maybe he knows. <laughs> what the fuck are you oh. up to now, huh? What's this about, huh? Damn it, Alki. It's not his job to know. It's your goddamn job to know. I can't be at two places at one time. You're the one me here, running your dig. You want me out there in the shit. Chasing the rippers. Go check the store, see how much ammo we got left. I'll tell Wheeler to watch the dig. What are you looking at? I don't know, I'm just waiting for you to smarten the fuck up. Don't! Did you track down Leon? Good thing someone around here knows how to make things happen. Ride with me. How long has it been since you found someone brought him in? Let me tell you again. The kind of people left out in the shit aren't the kind of people you want me bringing in. We lost two more to the fever. It's not my problem. You want our food? I'm making it your problem. I told you we'll do runs for you, but we're not joining your goddamn camp. Remind me again, my old woman's memory. Why is that? <laughs> because it's a waste of time, Tuck. <laughs> well, aren't you the optimist? Where's Boozer? He said he was gonna head over to Copeland's camp, see about trading for some fish. You're not in bed with Cope now, are you? His camp near yours? It's not closer or further. Look, I'm not I Boozer's old man. He goes where he wants. Jesus, you keep the shit burning all day and night. Got a lot of freak corpses piling up out here, with men like you doing your jobs. Damn right we keep it burning. Try using more gasoline. Burns faster, less fumes. Like we got so much to spare? When it's all gone, what are you gonna put in that bike of yours, spit and sweat? Now what the hell is going on here? The count's off. Storage is missing food and some ammo. Jesus, who was on watch last night? Wheeler. Tonight, double the watch. This shit's starting to piss me off. You got it. Trouble in paradise? It's like I was saying. Camp's like a prison. Bunch of goddamn lazy liars, thieves, rapists, and murderers. You know why that is? No idea. Because that's who we are. The freak show. Only folks survived were those mean enough, nasty enough to out-freak the freaks. The rest are here. Hoping I feed them, protect them, keep them nice and cozy and warm, so they can sit on their asses and watch the world end. You! Get your ass back to work! Don't make me go get Cyrus! Lazy sons of bitches can screw around all they like on their time. Daytime is my time. Running this camp is no different than running a prison. I can't remember what you said. You were... you were what? You were a warden or something? <laughs> Nothing so high and mighty. I was matron of the women's ward. You look like the sort who might have spent some time in the pen, back in the day. You ever do time? I had my share of trouble, but I never landed in K-State. I got a job for you. Larson was on a run yesterday. Passed through Marion Fork, said he saw someone. Young woman looked like her, but he only caught a glance. He stopped to look around, but he never found her. Is he sure? Larson's been doing this long as you. He knows a person from a freak. But you got a knack for this. You head over there and find her before the freaks do. I'll see what I can do. But look, Tuck, I want the rest of my credits for Leon. 
You bring me warm bodies, I'll give you all the credits you can spend. I gotta go find Wheeler. Someone's looking at a night in a shack. Hey, what's up? Hey, just taking a look. Come back soon. See you. Alcott. What do you want, Drifter? What's your problem? Hmm? One of my men uh, escaped to Ripper Camp over by Iron Butte. Got tortured, like they always do. But this time, they kept asking me if he knew about it. Two bikers, two men, asking me if he'd ever seen them or heard of them. A lot of bikes around here. What's it, what's it got to do with me? The Ripper called them mongrels. How many drifters still flying colors around here? As if that shit matters. You ask me? You got a price on your head. How's it feel to be on the other side? Now, why don't you just show me what you got because I don't have time for your bullshit. Whatever you say, Deke. Thanks. Okay, sure. I just gotta figure out who I'm gonna give this to. We can't head north until I get this bike fixed up. Copeland it is.